Partners in Ministry, a presentation of Josiah White's Quakerdale Foundation, dedicated to growing ministry support networks, introducing people to a cause that connects with their heart, bringing hope and encouragement to our communities as we seek together to serve as Christ served. Welcome to Partners in Ministry. I'm your host, Dan Smith, and today I'll be talking with Scott Biddle. Scott is the founder of Unleashing Heroes. In this interview, we're going to look at relationships and conversations, how they work together, how we can have meaningful conversations, what we need to avoid, and what resources can help us have conversations that build good relationships. Well, welcome, Scott. Thanks for joining me today. Good morning, Dan. How's it going today? It is going well, going well. Uh, relationships and conversations. Uh, could you pick a topic that is more controversial than those two things? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Uh, you know, I just uh, so, something God just really been laying on my heart, uh, and so uh, several uh, several weeks back, several months back, uh, I had a friend say, uh, "Scott, you're really great at connecting with people. Like that's just you're really good at." It. I was like, "Okay." Because that's kind of your business stuff you do. It's about connecting. That's just who you are. And I was like, okay, so I need to start figuring this out. Like, what does what does that mean? Connecting relationships. And I started thinking really about the scripture that I live so much about is love God and love love people. Right? Uh, like that's that's where I poured into. And I was like, how does loving you know like there's other things I do that doesn't fit into love God love people. And what really started to come across was there's also love yourself. Like love who you are. Uh, and I'm like, that's, I think about working on ourselves, working on our mindset, working on where we're going in the future. And so all that sort of be, began to kind of start into that with relationships in relationship with God, with people, with ourselves and uh, how we go forward. So yeah, it's been an amazing ride, uh, over the years of, of doing Unleashing Heroes. Sure. So help us kind of step back and take a, a big picture here. How do, or how do, or how are relationships and conversations supposed to work together? Oh man, uh, I was just, uh, I heard, I had a friend ask me, Hey Scott, uh, what if we were to say that, uh, the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your relationships. And I was like, Oh, I like, I had to think through that. Like, is that, is that real? Is that something I have to really think about? And, uh, as I kind of wandered through that, I'm like, man, that is so true because to me, relationships again, isn't just about other people. Uh, this is a relationship with God with each other, and then ourselves. And so if those relationships are going well, then your life is going well. And I was like, oh, but a fundamental part of relationships is conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, show me, a, show me a relationship that is going really well that doesn't have very good conversation. Or show me a relationship that's really bad that has great conversations. <laughs> and you really need that conversation to actually be a part of your relationship to actually make the relationship grow. And so that just kind of kicked off in my brain, all these things like, Oh man, how do I, let's go. Like if relationships are truly the quality of our life, then conversations have to be a huge piece of relationships. Sure. So what are some things that um, help make good conversations, great conversations, meaningful congregation uh, conversations? What, what, what has to be a part of that? Yeah. I, you know what? I think one of the, <laughs> One of the ones that we don't talk probably enough about and probably one of the hardest, at least for ADHD people like me, uh, <laughs> is listening, right? Like uh, taking the time not to be talking the whole time, which I'm pretty darn good at, uh, but I've worked really hard over the last probably decade uh, as a mentor of mine kind of came in to help me kind of think through that a little bit. Um, and it really changed how I pay attention to people and being present in the moment. Uh, too many times... <laughs> We're not here. We're somewhere else. We're not present. We're not listening. We're, we have a brain somewhere else. And so being able to be present in the moment, as well as listen to what the person's saying, uh, is an amazing piece that not only helps us to understand where they're coming from, but helps us to be present in the moment. So that's a huge one, I think, uh, is to listen and pay attention and be in the moment. Sure. Yeah. So if we're, going, if we're going to engage in great relationships and good conversations, we got to be really good listeners first. Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because then it becomes one-sided, right? If it's one-sided, sure. then is that considered a conversation? Sure. I, I don't think so. I think that's more yeah. of a lecture. It could be a, you know, just one-sided speech. Uh, yeah. There's no actual conversation back and forth is 
what a conversation is. Sure. Yeah, more of a monologue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we dialogue. do that with everything, right? We do that, sure. say, say in prayer with God, right? Like we can have what we call a conversation or a connection with God, but if we're doing all the talking, we're never actually listening to the other, to God, then we're sure. missing a big piece of that relationship, right? Same with other people. Yeah. I think the same thing with ourselves. We need to be asking ourselves questions that help us to move forward in our mindset and how we think about ourselves and the other people around us. But if we're not actually going to take the time to stop and be silent and let that stuff come into us and actually let us think through that, then we're probably missing a big piece of that connection. Sure. Well, if listening is one of those things that we've got to get really good at to have meaningful conversations, what are some things we should avoid? Yeah, uh, probably talking a lot, right? Like, uh, being the person, like, here's here's what we often do. I think one of the things that, that we bring into conversations is ourselves, and we're thinking about ourselves only, right? So mm-hmm. we come in, and it's all about me. It's all about, and so my, it's my stories. It's how I hear. Even if I hear somebody else say something, it's me one-upping them, right? Like, it's me going, ah, I can top that one. Uh, and there's, right, when you're, as guys, when we're hanging out with guys, that's going to happen. Like, that's, it's just a part of who we are. But when we're actually there to have a conversation, a meaningful conversation, we need to be able to learn to listen, actually not be one-upping and giving them all of our stories, but actually pay attention to what they're saying. And I'll be honest, people love talking about themselves, right? Like, we, Dan, do we like talking about ourselves? It's just, it's a normal, right? It's a, it's a normal part of our lives. Sure. Um, but we've got to figure out how to make, and this is probably the, the biggest part, this is how we get to listening to somebody else, uh, is it's not about me want to end a conversation it's about the other person so so like i i got home from a a camp i was speaking at a middle school camp this past week and i got home on tuesday uh i went to the grocery store and i was not in the mood to (laughs) like be out with people like i walked in the grocery store i'm like please don't run into anybody like i don't want to see anybody that i know like that's going to be i'm just not ready for that right and so i i go in the grocery store and i get all the way through and i'm in line and then I see somebody and I was like, okay, I don't have the energy. I can't like, how do I, I saw someone across like four aisles down and I was like, Hey, <laughs> like this really mute. Hey. And then she was like, yeah, Hey, go, I'm sorry. I just don't have the, I don't have the energy right now to have a conversation. And then I recognize somebody behind me. So I turn around and talk to the guy and I had to go, okay, this isn't about me. This isn't about me. This is about them. And really listening to what they had to say. And I didn't realize how much energy that actually took. For an extrovert, that's pretty normal. Uh, but I was in an introverted stage. Like, I'm not, I don't want to be here. Uh, and so really learning that it's about them and not about me, which is what we usually take in the most conversations. Sure, sure. Are there any resources you've known about or any resource that you've created that can help us build some good skills at having meaningful conversations that will lead to, to good relationships? Yeah, I've uh, uh, I've had this course in my brain for about probably a year and a half, uh, and I finally got it out. I'm really excited about it, actually. It's called Exploring Conversations. So Ax, <laughs> uh, here's why, right? Like, I'm an ax sower. I travel to tournaments, and I've been to world competitions uh, the last three years. And, uh, and so this is, I, I think a lot of pictures and movies. That's how my brain works, and so I need visuals. Uh, and so this is taking a conversation and looking the conversation through the eyes of an axe thrower and how every move, whether it's the axe, what the axe looks like, uh, to what kind of axe it is, to how heavy, to how you throw the axe, to how the axe lands, uh, and really helps you to visualize what a conversation looks like uh, as you're actually throwing axes. And so, yeah, so I'm really excited about it. It goes through four different steps. One is uh, the board uh, or the target which is in front of you, uh, it's who you're actually talking to, right? So there are times that when you throw an ax, it might actually, might not stick in the board, right? Might not start sticking the target. The reason could be several different things. One is maybe they're not ready to have the conversation, Mm -hmm. right? Like maybe they're just, their brain's somewhere else. Maybe you're not like that. When I walk in, sometimes my brain isn't here, it's somewhere else. And I can just think of my kids walking in from school and I'm like ready to dig in with the conversation. Hey, what did how did this happen? And they're just, they're trying to get away from school at this point, right? Like they just need to veg out for a few minutes and get up to the room and just breathe. So one of the things that we jump into conversation. So one is the target who we're talking to. The other ones are the ax itself, 
It's the throwing has an actual piece to how we deliver our message. And then probably one of the hardest ones is the board, which is us. Are we ready to have the conversation, have it given back to us as much as we're ready to give the conversation or have the, have sure. the talk, right? To have the talk or the speech. So yeah. that's all built into uh, this thing called Exploring Conversations. It's a video course. Uh, if you go to, what is it? At, uh, unleashingheroes.com slash conversation, it'll land you right in that spot. So, Super. yeah. That's great. That sounds exciting. I'm, I'm anxious to see that. Well, Scott, just thanks a lot. I really appreciate uh, this conversation. Hopefully it's spurred some people on to think a little bit and, and maybe take that step of, of going through that class. So thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Relationships, man. That's, it's all built in relationships. And so sure. if you want a great life, great relationships, which starts with great conversations. Super. Well, if you got any questions or if you want to learn more about Unleashing Heroes, their contact information is right here on the screen. You can also find it in the show notes for this episode on our website, as well as in the uh, description of this YouTube video. We'll also include a live link both on the show notes and YouTube. So you can go right straight to uh, Scott's uh, course. So on behalf of Unleashing Heroes, Scott Biddle and Partners in Ministry, I want to thank you for joining us today. And until next time, let's get out there and serve as Christ serves. This has been a presentation of Partners in Ministry a podcast of Josiah White's Quakerdale Foundation. To learn more and see the show notes for this and other episodes, visit our website. To stay informed of up-and-coming broadcasts, subscribe to our e-newsletter. To invest in our mission, Donate today.